everyone, my name is Kate and this is Dixie and we are PAC support representatives for Roughware and we're here today to tell you a little bit about the load up harness. The load up harness is a car harness for dogs traveling in the car to and from adventures. The load up is primarily designed to help keep your dog in the back seat while also giving them a little more freedom and comfort to stand, sit, and settle in for the drive. It will also help provide security during sudden vehicle movements. Built with strength rated hardware and components, the load up harness has been dynamically tested at MGA Research Research Corp, a National Highway Traffic Safety Administration contracted test facility under the conditions outlined in Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 213. It has a universal seatbelt attachment, foam padded construction for comfortable extended wear, strength rated metal hardware, and four points of adjustability so that you can dial in an optimal fit for your dog. The shell of the load up harness is a 300 denier polyester, which is blue sign approved. Inside is our closed cell foam and a polyester knit mesh lining. The straps are a nylon webbing and the side release buckles are made of forged anodized aluminum. Now Dixie and I are going to show you how to put on and adjust the load up harness. We recommend starting out with all of the webbing straps at their loosest point, both the ones around the neck and the ones here around the girth. That means ensuring that the adjuster bars on the neck strap are slid as close to the chest panel of the harness as possible. Next, unbuckle the girth strap and then unravel the excess webbing that's rolled up in the Velcro. Now feed the excess webbing through the adjuster bar and pull it out on the opposite end to loosen the girth strap all the way. So now that the harness is all loosened up and the buckles are undone, I'm gonna start by slipping it over Dixie's head. I'm gonna make sure that the Rough Wear logo is on top. So here we go, over the head. Now that I've got the harness over Dixie's head, I'm going to take this belly panel and just pass it between her legs. I'm gonna reach across and grab one of these side straps and the buckle, and I'm going to feed it through the opening of the buckle on top of the harness. And after I feed it through, I just wanna make sure that it's fully seated. So I wanna give it a good tug pulled down, making sure that it's sitting flush. And really quick, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Again, just feeding that buckle through. And then once it's through, giving it a good tug down, making sure it's seated. Now that we've got the harness on, I'm going to start making adjustments to all of the straps. I'm gonna start over here with the girth strap. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start with this back portion of the strap. So I'm just gonna take it and kind of push it back up through the buckle feed it out, getting that tight right back in here, or snug, and then pulling it through this strap. So now that this one back here is nice and snug, I can take this tail end and I can pull it through and get the front portion of the strap snug. So you're just looking for it to be nice and snug on the dog. You wanna be able to slip a couple of fingers between the dog and the webbing. Once you have the straps adjusted where they need to be, you'll notice that there's this loose tail of webbing down here at the end with a piece of Velcro. So for that, you can simply roll it up toward the webbing strap and then just take that Velcro and put it around the webbing Dixie's got a lot of fur. Put it around the webbing to secure it in place. So now that I have this side nice and snug, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, making sure that it's even. And again, just checking to see how many fingers I can slip underneath. And now I'm going to move on to adjusting the neck. So I'm just going to find this little adjuster bar down here and holding on to one side of the webbing and the bar, I'm just gonna pull the webbing and the bar away from each other to make those adjustments. Do a, I'm gonna start with just a little on this side and then a little on this side. We don't want the neck to be too terribly tight because this is already looking like a pretty good fit for her. And again, just checking with how many fingers you can get between her body and the webbing strap. Now that the load up harness is on and we have it adjusted, once we get out to the car, it's time to load up. So we're going to feed the seat belt through this attachment loop and buckle her in to make sure she's nice and secure. And that's the load up harness. Thanks for watching. You ready to go for a ride?